Hey, what's up guys? How are you guys doing today? I hope everyone's having a great morning. Guys, today we have a crazy, crazy vlog. I am so freaking ecstatic. I am honestly blown away right now. I can't even tell you guys how happy I am. Um, so many things to talk about. Um, I don't even know where to freaking even get started. We did our last ultrasound in this um, this Sunday. We always ultrasound on the first, which we were gonna do a Saturday, but Saturday we had a uh, we had we had things to do. So we um, ultrasounded on Sunday, and guys, I can't tell you, man. You know, we were hoping to hit the 100 clutches. Um, we're well over 100 clutches. We have 102 girls that 100% sure are going, and then we have another. What was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 girls that are still around, you know, anywhere from 20 to 25 millimeter follicles. Once they're over 25, well, once they're over 30 millimeter follicles, they get this purple tape right here, and that, you know, usually have a hard time, you know, reabsorbing around that time, once they're around that uh, uh, growth on follicles. But man, we have clutches dropping left and right. Um, today's vlog is, um, well, I'm gonna show you some of the clutches that we're gonna be dropping, that are gonna be dropping here shortly, some stuff that are totally unexpected that I honestly didn't even think was gonna go, that is going now, and a pairing that is so next level that, I mean, I myself, I'm just like blown away with that. I mean, this is gonna put me so far ahead on this project and just, you know, get this, you know, um, this project even going even higher than it already is. But before we get to that, I do need to pull out a clutch here for you guys real quick, and that's this, oh, definitely not that girl, because she has a blue, uh, blue tape. It's this one right here. And funny thing is, man, so we have those sisters. That one's going right after. They're not going to lay it around the same. But that is a GHI Mojave Hepite female. But we have this girl right here laying as well, too. I'm um, not sure she's done yet. No, she still has a couple more eggs in there. She is a first time, um, uh, um, first time goer? <laughs> a first time of uh, mom. She was actually, I actually made that female from this girl right here, which is so funny, man. I've been trying to do these double uh, visual sunset clowns for a long time. This one I bought as a 100% um, head five, a uh, possible head um, uh, clown, and she proved out uh, to be clown. This girl has gave me the best uh, double visual clowns from a double visual or a head or a visual to head, and I always get visual from this girl. When I do either, double visual to visual hat. Dude, I never get freaking visuals. All the big clowns are all piped. It's so weird how that works. But um, let's get this clutch here taken out here real quick. As you guys know, we use Perlite. We use easy hatch trays. We just put this right here. Let me grab this female. Put her down right here. And uh, her to a couple of slugs here. Now this female was paired up with a male that was honestly, um, he, was, he, was, he was young. So I think that could have been, you know, one of the reasons why they have um, these slugs right here. Let's put this away. I'm gonna red clip this bad boy so we get a full clean on it, and then we'll get to the other stuff. Well, not bad. Five eggs, um, two slugs. Now we're gonna do a quick little candling just to make sure that we have some nice solid veins, and boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. This whole time, I'm not even telling you what the pairing was. So this right here was, the male was an ODYB Inchi Gene X Chocolate Pie bred to a GHI Mojave uh, Hep Pie. So here's the male right here. Look at this guy. This was my upgraded male for my first uh, ODYB Inchi Gene X that I had bought years ago. And I made the chocolate version. Look how freaking good he still looks, man. This guy's a proven breeder. I mean, shows right there. Look at that, how freaking amazing. So I would love to see that full combo with GHI in it. I think it'll be freaking insane. Um, we're gonna get this completely pressed and sealed. We're gonna set this to the side because you guys know that the incubator is completely filled up. So we have to take it inside where the incubator's at. Which reminds me of telling you guys that we're actually gonna break this down. We're gonna add another 18 feet out there because again, we're running out of space. Um, we're gonna take all the animals out of there, put them in here more freedom breeder racks um, until we get our dream house so we could build our awesome facility. But if we could, you know, you know, run this place another two years, I mean, dude, it's gonna be very beneficial for us. We're gonna save a lot of money and then really, really be able to get the state-of-the-art facility. So let's get this going here real quick and then we'll show you that pairing that's just freaking insane. 
super, super mind blowing. All right, guys. So before I show you that killer pairing, um, let's show a couple of the clutches that are going to be dropping here shortly. Um, I also, we just put up a Patreon uh, list of snakes going out. From the way things are going, I think every two weeks we're going to be having lists of, on Patreon for snakes for you guys to purchase. Remember, whatever membership you get on there, you can use it towards snake, use it up to saving up to two years, and you know, get yourself whatever you want. So the next one that are going to be dropping here shortly is this Inchi Double Hat Desert Ghost Sunset. And she was bred to a spot nose double hat desert ghost sunset. Next over here, dude, I'm so excited about some of these females here that I was not expecting them to go. And out of nowhere, dude, they're just, dude, they're going. Chocolate clown. She was bred to a spot nose redhead. Um, spot nose redhead hat clown. Same male for this lace clown. And this female right here, they were not locked anymore, but they were locked earlier. Um, I'm actually going to post a picture of it right now. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see what the pairing is, but check this out. Yeah, that right there was a super chocolate breeding to a black pastel red stripe hat clown. So everything's going to be chocolate. Hopefully we get red stripe and black pastel in there. It'll be freaking awesome. These next girls right here also are going to be going. This right here is an OD yellow belly Mojave pied bred to a leopard DG uh, uh, Le Leopard DG Pied, Mahogany Pied as well. Look at her, sorry about the poop, you know they're not always gonna be all clean. She was bred right there to the DG Pied herself, the, D the Le Leopard DG Pied. This girl right here is an ODYB Inchi Genex Pied. She was also bred to, bred to the Leopard DG Pied. So we're gonna have some crazy, crazy Pied combos that are 100% had Desert Ghost. And then this girl right here is an ODYB Inchi Chocolate Het Pied. She was bred to our OD Leopard Clown Pied. So we're gonna have some crazy combos, hopefully some super OD chocolate pieds that are gonna be 100% Het Clown. Now, this next clutch that I'm gonna show you guys is one that I'm super, super excited about. I made these snakes as um, um, years ago, a couple of years ago. And there were sunset 66% head pieds. Uh, now with the shed testing, it turned out and it proved out to be 100% head pied. And this guy, out of nowhere, I mean, he already has sperm plugs. I have not been breeding them just because you know I didn't know it was you know it's one of those things. And um, this female ended up going. She was like 18 millimeter falcons out of nowhere, virgin, and it put him to her. I don't know if they're still locked, but I have the picture. But check this out. Oh yeah, they're still locked. Look at this, man. Holy hell. That right there is just unreal. So what you guys are seeing right there, let me close it up here real quick. Dude, so freaking crazy. What you guys are seeing right there is a leopard sunset, 100% half pied, breeding to an OD leopard clown pied. Now, whatever uh, pied that we get, well, everything that well, we could, at the end of the day, the lowest amount that we're gonna make triple heads, right? But if we make a couple of pied, um, you know, OD, whatever, just pied combos, they're gonna be 100% double head sunset clowns. Now that's gonna move us up forward to these projects, you know, triple recessive visuals, quads and stuff like that, man. That snake right there, now that he's doing that, now that I know that he's breeding, um, is gonna be getting paired up to some DG pieds, some crazy other crazy ODYB, freaking fire pied combos. I mean, dude, we're going to kill it with that mail, man. I am super excited. The Sunset Project is one of my favorite projects here, and I'm glad to share this with you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I have to go and get a couple of emails taken care of. As always, we appreciate all the support. Till next time, peace.